All right, we've got two boxes of dimes here. So I'm, I'm going to be looking for silver mainly. Um, I'm not going to pay too terribly much attention to all the excess years through there. But as always, definitely going to be looking for silver if it stands out. Foreign coins, um, you're going to be looking also for the 1996 W. Sometimes they get them out of the mint sets and they'll throw them back into circulation. So you might find a 96 W. <clears throat> you can look on for the 70 with 69 and the 70 proof reverses also you want to check out for the 82 that has no mint mark but a nice little proof luster on there so that might be a really 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 special find but we do have circulated dimes it's been a little while since i've been on the dimes um so hopefully we find something this one right here looks a little bit silverish to me but it might be just some crud on top of it so may may not cross some fingers for silver let's see we can feed the silver jar Okay, we're five rolls into the box here. I've got some variety years set off to the side here, some years that I definitely want to check out. And then we do have, let's see if I can do this. We do have a 1970D there. This is actually going to be, try to flip it over with this huge hand of mine. This is actually going to be the proof reverse, as you see right there. It's got an additional line up in the torch or up in the flame itself. Uh, see if I can put my finger up, but up in the flame right there, you see this additional line on there. Gives you identifier that it is a proof reverse. I think the 69 Philadelphia's also have those. These are actually quite common. I've seen a lot of them, seen a lot of them on the videos, but what you want to do is you want to get a nicer one, a really, really good example to hold on to it. That was a pretty decent one, but then too, we have ourselves a 1968S proof. It's been a little while since that. Actually, this is probably one of the first. No, nah, I take it back. I've, I've got some uh, proofs out of coin roll hunting. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice 1968 S proof so far. Nice. Let's keep moving. We've got, what, three, six, seven rolls left in the box. And I'm actually on this next roll here. So, I do have quite a few of the varieties stacked up here. We got a lot to look at. I did add another one of the 70, I think it's the Philadelphia there, Proof Reverse, which is nice to find. We got one 2009 Philadelphia that I was definitely looking for those 2009s. I actually haven't had a whole lot of 2009s, so I definitely want to pull those out. Got a nice little toner there. It's toner on both sides and then that S-Proof that we had. Now, I'm not, like I say, I'm not able to hold the roll in my hand, so I'm, I'm having to do it on the table here. But I opened it up, and there is one right there this one here it looks it's silver edge to me got a thick reeded edge but i'm not sure what it is but we're going to check together hopefully it looks like it's a foreign but hopefully it's a silver oh man that is awesome we got a mercury dime and we got a 42 also so 1942 mercury dime wow i haven't had very many mercury dimes out of my dime hunt and it's an s so that is awesome it's a big S on there too. That's a pretty chunky one. Wow, that's awesome. Well, we got silver on the board, but also too, I gotta look up and see what 1942. I know there's a 42 over 41, so I want to I want to say it's an S mint mark also. Let me go ahead and check that, and uh, I will bring y'all right back in here in a second. Well, I looked up some information real quick on it, and it's definitely a 1942 Philadelphia that's going to have the. 42 over 41. So want to make sure you look at that. And then too, on uh, Variety Vista and Wexler's Guide, you can also see that there's going to be a S over S. A uh, little hard to tell on here. This doesn't have the trumpet tail as it'd be flat on the back end. Looks like a trumpet, um, like a cornet or a trumpet um, nozzle to it. So it's not flat there. It's got something going on below it. Not really tell. It's in pretty rough condition. I just took a gander at it just to see if there was any bands on there. There's one band, but this one's smushed. And then that one there has got about a half a band on it. Checked out all the numbers and letters on it. So anyhow, we do have a silver on the board, like I say, which I'm quite surprised. We got a mercury on here. It's awesome. That's a find. Went through the first box there and knocked it out. I already went through all the varieties on the board to see if we had any oddities or errors on there. Now, we did have our 70s there. That's the proof reverses, the 2009s, the S-proof there, that nice little toner, and our mercury sitting here. So, I've got three other dimes sitting up underneath the scope here. Uh, I just thought this one was actually kind of cool, the way the sun rays, the way it, 
it all the way around the uh, fields, as you see there. It looks like just light finger marks or abrasion marks going around there. Like I said, it's got like that sunburst all the way around the center coming off of there. That's pretty interesting. But then too, up on the flame here, it looks like it's got a little bit of a, a die chip there, a little chip there just touching the SO2. So not for sure. I don't think that's doubling, just some additional metal that's stacked up there. So that was just cool to me. Uh, this next one here, it looks like it's got either a strike through or some feeder finger marks. It's going through the branch, goes to the bottom of the torch there. So if we go up top here, it looks like it's kind of scratched or it looks like it's got an additional leaf on top there also, as you see. So something going on with it. A little bit of a dyed chip right there on the, the leaf itself, but looks like a little strike through air or something, but I'm not for sure what that leaf portion is up on top of here is. So that's just interesting. I'm gonna hold that off to the side. 10 cents can't hurt. Then the next one here, we got E Plurib Unum. So you see the U and the S there are almost completely gone. Now, if you tilt it a little bit, you can see it's just, it's kind of like that, uh, what is it, the nickel or the uh, quarter there with the uh, In God We Rust type situation. But yeah, that U and S is completely gone, as you see right here. But if you tilt it, you can see it's still just a smidgen raised field there. But that was just an interesting find to me. Anyhow, let's jump on to box number two, hopefully for more silver. All right, we went through that second box of dimes also. It went pretty quick. Um, we did have a few finds in there. I made sure also to basically take my time to look through the dimes. There's only two boxes. I've had it for a couple of days. I wanted to sit on it to make sure I get everything out of it. But as I showed you earlier, these right here are the ones with the... Um, that's going to have like the finger finger marks on it. It looks like it's got a little bit of strike through that's up on the torch and in between the leaf. You got one of them that has the U and S on there that the pluribus unum is actually almost knocked out. It's actually, that's it. See the U and S it looks almost like it's gone on there. We're going to have the ones with the feeder finger marks on there. You can see the one behind the torch. You can probably see it without the scope, I guess. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it on this one here. But anyhow, got a toner sitting off to the side here. We did pull some 2009s. So the 2009s, um, lower mintage. I want to say the Philadelphia's ones or the 95, I think it was 95 million that were minted. Now in 2008, there was like 281 million of them minted. But like I said, right here is only 95 million minted. A little lower mintage, so you definitely want to hold on to your 2009s. That's a Denver there, and then two Philadelphias, which quite surprised we got our Philadelphias there. We got our one silver, which is the 1942 Mercury Dime. That's going to be an S mint mark on there. And then one of the last few rolls there, also, we pulled another proof coin. So we got two, we got a 1968S proof there and a 1983s proof there also so that's cool to pull some proofs out of there makes the hunt a little more interesting whenever you get some more varieties out of it and then these are all of the proof reverses there as you see we got three of the 1970 denvers that are on the top and then two of the 1970 philadelphia is on the bottom here and i want to show you the proof reverse meaning whenever you look on your so it's going to be your 69 philadelphias and then it's going to be Actually looks like we got some doubling up there in the, the flame though. See that right there? Might be a little bit of a machine doubling. But anyhow, you're gonna see these notches in the, the, the flame itself. See additional notches right here. I wanna say the original ones just have one. But if you get that additional notching that's right there in the flame, little divot looks like almost, that's gonna basically point you out for the uh, proof reverse on there. All of these have them. But then too, the thickness of the coin also on all these are, looks like they're kind of proof how thick they are. So that kind of stands out to let you know that the proof reverses, um, if it doesn't, ha if it isn't with an S on there and if it isn't shiny or mirrored like that, you might have a proof reverse. If you got a 1969 Philadelphia, you can either have a 70 Philadelphia or a 70 Denver also, and that would be your proof reverses. So anyhow, that was actually a pretty cool hunt. Uh, I am going to pick up two boxes of half dollars right now. So hopefully we get on the hunt for more silver. So anyhow, I hope y'all liked the video. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. And I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And I will see y'all on the next video.